coming up on the next episode. Good Monday morning to you all, YouTube. It is 11.31 here at the uh, DERB -E bench. <clears throat> As you can hear in the background, I think, I am listening to uh, the old 64 goat talk about his speakers. Um, and uh, I started out watching this in the living room and decided, well, I need to get some stuff done here, so I thought I'd finish up watching it back here. So, uh, going to do that. Um, I want to get these last three, um, did you see, yeah, it's just, I, uh, want to get these last three caps replaced, uh, I talked to Brendan about the, um, dual capacitor here, he said leave it like it is for now, unless there's problems with it, and I agree completely, um, so that's what we'll do there, um. What I want to do is basically get these three replaced, give the radio a listen, and see if the um, CAN capacitor, the uh, ECAP, is uh, sufficiently providing enough filtering. And I, I plan to eventually do this as far as replacing these. But for right now, I want, I'm thinking about if, it's, if there's no uh, significant hum to it, to go ahead and use that. Let me turn him down a little bit. I think it might be a little confusing. Um, in fact, I'm going to pause him. So, I can listen to him after I do this. Uh, anyway, I, if there's no significant harm, there's there shouldn't be a problem. Go ahead and try to align it. Uh, that shouldn't affect the alignment any. Replacing those capacitors, I wouldn't think. It might give it a little more voltage or something like that. But other than that, that really shouldn't shouldn't be a big deal. Um, anywho, um, so that's the plan, and I, I'm going to try try my best to uh, get a little bit of a footage on this, uh, as far as, as replacing the uh, these last three, and I won't guarantee how much it'll be or what how good it'll be, but I'm going to try my new uh, camera uh, boom uh, and see how that works, and use the probably uh, ZE1 because. I need a camera that's going to allow me to uh, record for a while and because it's, you know, even though it won't look that way on the video when it's posted, uh, you know, the, the amount of time it takes to, to do this is, is far more than this camera is able to uh, capture at one point. Uh, so that's the plan and that's what we're going to try and do. So stay tuned for that and it's coming right up. All right, I think your recording may be, it may be upside down, but <laughs> it is recording. It should the uh, the uh, soldering iron should be heated up well enough now, and we're gonna give that a shot and see what happens. First thing I'm gonna do is cut out the uh, old one, and I think what I'm gonna do is get the easiest one first, and this is it, I do believe. Um, so, also I'm gonna try something a little different this time. I'm gonna use my uh, glasses, my 5x glasses. Instead of having to try to uh, use that uh, overhead um, light magnification light lamp, I think maybe these might be the way to go because I can see just fine with these without using that, and that should should help, I think. Uh, let's see if I can get enough of this on here, right here, to where I can do this without sacrificing the wire. That is a point, point oh 0.01. So we'll get one of those to replace that with. And Brendan and I were talking about the um, reliability or whatever you want to call it for hook and pinch and side-by-side -side type soldering. Uh, parallel, I guess is what you would call it. And I guess there was a study done by, I think it was the Navy, uh, yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, Brendan, but uh, I think that's what it was. I did watch part of it. Um, the, uh, like I said, I guess uh, it's, if done right correctly, the parallel um, solder is 
every bit as strong as the hook and pinch, maybe even so more. I don't know. Let's see, I have uh, right here. Mm, try to put it in the middle if possible. Here and here, okay. Let me go ahead and make a hook on one of them. And I'll put the other one in. Make the easiest one. I think that's the easiest one to uh, get at last. So let's try to do this one first. I'm going to put that right about there. Hook that in there. Like so. Double check my length. And it is correct. So I'm going to basically pinch that over. I don't know if you just saw that, but there's a little bit of a smooch, smooch on that right there. Yeah, see, I just got it off. So I want that off. I want to take my hemostats and squeeze that a little bit. See if I can get that pinched properly. There you go. Now I want to go ahead and put this one in so where the uh, capacitor will lay correctly. Here, that's the plan anyway. Because once it's in there, that way it'll it should should allow it to stay. It's it's in there now enough, I think, to to allow me to solder this end. Now I want to get that uh, other lead. This part of the lead up a little bit further up so I can cut it off once I get it soldered. I'm using these, um, I can't use, I was trying to use the uh, straight ones, hemostats. I've got a, a better, better pair of these uh, curved uh, hemostats with the uh, grooves or what do you want to call them on there, but yeah, that's what I want. I can clip that off once I solder it. Alright, bring our soldering iron over here. Find our solder. That's always a... Oh, where in the world did I leave it last? That's always what you try to remember. Put a little bit on the tip there if I can find the tip. There we go. Yeah, I didn't get the, I just got the one connection, didn't get the other one. Uh, let's get a little more solder out. Yeah, oops, I thought I had it. Those uh, older joints sometimes do not like taking solder so much. I've noticed that. I, as long as I've got enough on there, it's all I care about. I see it's covered. That's good enough for me. So that should do that one. And we're going to clip this off while I'm here. And that's good. So that's nice. Now we can lay this over a little bit. Like so. Get our end here on the other end, around where it's got to be. Get the piece of the tip off first. Mm -hmm. So, That's good, 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 good. Now this had a little smuts on it too, so it may be, by smuts I'm talking about that um, capacitor wax or whatever it is on there. Sometimes that kind of takes a minute to melt that off. Yeah, it looks pretty good from what I can see. One of the things I do like about the uh, magnification light is because there is the added light from it. Uh, that's a big plus when you're still not getting at it like I want it. It's that smooch. That smooch is caught. Now it's got it there. I got it now. 
see if I could do this without losing that there we go get the smooch smooch off and, uh, I'm a picky person when it comes to stuff like this I don't like that stuff it probably has no bearing on anything but it bugs me when I see stuff like that so I try to get it off if I can it's just solder but at the same time it shouldn't be there I keep thinking you know I, I have a scenario in my head that it's gonna flake off and get in something and, and that's not gonna be good so there you go it's gone all right that's a good good replacement there gonna just take it tilt it over a little bit like that get it low as I can but that is a good one very good one happy with that now this one here is going to be the hard one. You can see that already. Uh, it goes across, and it probably it really wouldn't matter if it was ever even replaced. It goes across the. Uh, it's for the uh, tone control. So I don't think I, I'm going to mess with that. Uh, there are probably those who argue that the old ones sound better anyway. <laughs> So unless there's a problem, we're going to leave that one because it's just too difficult to get in there. And by difficult, I mean it's just I can cut it here at the end and have enough to hook, but that end is going to be difficult to get in there because it's it's hooked right to the end of that uh, uh, what do you call it? It's got this resistor here in the way, so we're going to concentrate on this one here. That's a .005. Let me double check, make sure I've got the .005 before I do that. I'm pretty sure I do. Uh, so anyway, that's that. Let me uh, get this cut out. We know we have a replacement for it now. Wasting a lot of time here. Time well spent, or could be spent doing other stuff, fun stuff. There we go. Now that's eating a little bit better now. All right. That's a kind of a long spread there, actually. Not impossible, but still long. Uh. There's that end. This end's going to be the difficult one. Because it's shorter. Anytime you have a shorter place to hook to, it makes a difference. Let's see what I got there. Yeah. It's like about right there. Right, that's that end. Now I'll see about getting this end in. At least hooked to where it'll stay once I start soldering it. That was easy enough. Very easy. All right. But yeah, these uh, really give you a, a nice field of vision on this stuff. Mm, pretty good. Pretty good. Might as well go. Let's see. I'm going to take this one a little bit more around because I like to have something good to cut off. And when they're st really close together like that, it's it's difficult uh, at best to cut them off. So I'm going to take and squeeze this one a little bit more too. I think I can do that. Yep, there you go. All right, good stuff. Good stuff. Sorry if I'm hitting the camera with my hat, but you guys know how it is. There you go. That's a nice connection. Very nice. I like that a lot. And I know this is not this camera here is not going to give you a good uh, close up, but it will let, get you in towards the action a little bit so you can see what I'm doing and how I do it. Uh, maybe that's helpful to you. I don't know. Maybe not. But at least it it is something. 
There we go. Get off there. I don't want you. Same with this one. And that's done. Now that's done. Okay. I'm going to call that good. Like I said, I... So uh, I'm going to wrap this part up and get some other stuff done. Let me s stop this recording. And once I get the uh, thing back on its uh, normal position, so we can listen to it again, and we'll do such at that time. So stay tuned. All right. <clears throat> I'm back with you again. Let's see. Get this back over here. Like this. Uh, Bob, uh, I talked to Bob about this. He said to go ahead and replace it. So I did. It's a .02. And I got it in there fairly decent. It wasn't that hard, but it was just one of those things I thought, well, it's really not necessary. It's on tone control, but that's not really, he says, part of the circuit. So, And I agree. It's C17 on the schematic if you're following along. So I agree that it is more so than the uh, capacitor from the uh, this one here. But, again, it is it has been replaced. So that's that. That is all of the uh, wax paper caps replaced I think I have not really looked on top but I don't think there were any on top we'll check here double check real quick and see but uh, again I think it's time to get this thing ready to fire up and listen to so let me turn this over and we'll see all right well I'm looking over the uh, chassis on top uh, there's a disc cap there of course there's a trimmer cap there and no tuning cap <laughs> I'm not gonna replace that uh, um, so anyway, that's uh, pretty much it. Uh, no other uh, wax paper caps that I can see. So that's good. And that's going to do us. Now this, uh, I wanted to see the value on this while I was at it. Because I'm pretty darn sure I don't have excuse me, something to replace that. Uh, it looks to me like it's four section diesel peach. Um, looks like 60, 40... 20 and an 8, or maybe that's a B. You can't tell. But anyway, 60, 40, and 20. Um, so there's three sections of that. They're all at 250. Well, that was 250, that was 200. And that's, that's a bypass because that's only 25 volts. So, yeah, that's just three sections. Okay. So there you go uh, 40, 60, 20. Uh, the least critical. I do have 22s, I think, on that one. The 40 and the 60, um, I'll have to check. But I know I've got those 82s, but that's not really too close. So, 40 it probably can come with, come up with a uh, 47. Uh, might I don't know. We'll see. But uh, anyway, let's let's check it out first and see if there's any hum. If there's any hum, then we'll go from there. How's that? So. Let me get everything hooked up, and we'll be right back. Play the best music to kick off the world. All right, well, here you can hear the uh, radio is playing. Jackson, we've got the latest in tech trends. Travel sites are gearing up for what they expect to be a big summer. Demand for rental homes near places like beaches and national parks were very high during the pandemic and are expected to get... Plenty of volume. ...the economy reopens. As a result... And that is obviously on the radio. ...we are doing what they can to recruit new hosts. There's another station. There you go. There's a, a quick look as far as uh, you know, that tells you right there that this is more sensitive than the average radio I work on back here. The fact that it gets two stations that quickly. Let's go. I've got a space or a spot here that I've got some uh, smuts in the... Uh, <laughs> that's my new favorite word, I think, is smuts. Yeah, that's the uh, North Vernon station. I kind of thought it was. So it's, uh, let's see, 20 miles maybe, 20 miles away. And it's a low, lower power. It's kind of like the station we have here. Let me uh, try some other ones here. That's the local station again. There's the end of the band.
Here's the North Burn. For a local station. Oh, wait a minute. That's the local station there. So I had two stations over here. Let's get back to them. There's one. There's another one. Can't quite make it out, but that's a, that's a radio station. So there are three right there. I am using the uh, correct antenna as far as which one I'm using. So, all right. So again, one. There's two. There's our local station. So let's go on the other way and see what we got. Yeah, I've got some, um, either some, what do you call it, touching or something in there. Definitely some grounding out there. That will have to be addressed. I'm guessing it's this one down here because it's it looks a little strange on this end, but you never can tell. I don't know, that's gonna be a little bit difficult to find anything that way. Yeah, it seems to clear it out a little bit. Alright, I'm going to say that's good though. I mean, three stations instead of not, or one, uh, that's an improvement right there. So, definitely a more sensitive uh, receiver, and that's a good thing. So, Alright, we're going to knock this off here now, I think, and I'm going to try to correct this problem here. And uh, if I can, and I may bring you back, I don't know, we'll see. But if not, we'll see you later. Alright, as promised, I am back. I think you can see here our problem. This one is just way out too far. It needs to be pushed back in. That's a delicate operation. Anybody that's messed with these things knows. Uh, so we're going to try to uh, our best to get that back into shape without ruining anything else. I think there might be one over here that's just a little out too. I can't tell for sure, but it uh, uh, kind of looks like it. But you can see here clearly how that how that runs out and that's just not correct so that's the one I think we're going to be looking at now there is a little bit of a space there I've seen maybe I should point it with this here you can see a big space there quite a bit of a space and that's not that's not uh, all the way around because it comes to here I think it it's not such a big space anymore so there's a couple of them right there that uh, appear to be a little bit out. So let's see what we can do with that and like I say I won't bring you back with that but uh, I will report the next time we make a, a video on my progress and the results of it. So stay tuned for that. Now coming up very soon after I get most of this stuff done um, 
I'm going to do a, a quick and dirty alignment um, just to see. You can already see it's more sensitive just replacing the caps um, that it was to start with. Also, there's no uh, appreciable hum there. Uh, there's no hurry in replacing this the E cap. So I will make sure that I have the correct values for that and then we'll go from there once they come in. Uh, so that's that. So I think that's a good good starting point for what we're doing. And this also gives me a, gives me a little more time to work on my new digs. Uh, I've got a lot to, a lot of work to do in there. I mean a lot. And uh, so that will be nice uh, to get some work done in there. And uh, like I said, I'm going to get this done too. Uh, this will probably air Wednesday. Uh, trying to keep them my Monday, Wednesday, and Friday type thing. And at least with the these types of videos, I may add some extra videos like I did over the weekend. But uh, that's about it. So, All right, you guys have a great day. Thank you so, so much for watching. And we will see ya. Mm -hmm.